So as we go through some slides, we got a body condition score two cow here, and you can see she's very emaciated. Uh, she's lost, there's no fat cover uh, um, up under the hide all over her body. She's actually lost some muscle mass there as well, down her top and in her hip. And you can see is, is she's almost to the point where is it looks like if we just pulled the hide off, we've got a skeleton hanging out there. And so again, at a body condition score two, that's really too thin because from going from a body condition score two to a five, you're looking at 150 to 200 pounds of weight during that time. Uh, and so again, two, that's probably gonna be a little too thin. If our whole, whole herd is looking like that, we really didn't do a good job nutritionally managing them. Uh, body condition score three, a lot of times when we pull the cow, the calf off the cow, uh, we may have seen that cow slip to uh, possibly a three, maybe a high three body condition score. And when we're looking at a body condition score three, we can see her ribs, we can see her hook bones, and we can see maybe her spine a little bit, uh, but she still hadn't really lost any muscle mass there. And so a body condition score three, um, again, a little bit not as, as lean and thin as a two, but certainly we can see some ribs and some of her skeletal processes there. Uh, body condition score four cow, and this is probably as our cows, if when we're, we're weaning the calf off, this is probably more of an optimal time stage as far as condition wise and losing that condition. And that's going to be somewhere between 75 and 100 pounds difference between a body condition score four and five. And so on this cow, as you can see, we can, we can see that she's got some fat behind her shoulders. Uh, the last couple of ribs we could see a little bit. She's got a little covering over her hook bones and, and pin bones, but they're still a little prominent there. Uh, but again, not near as thin as that body condition score three cow. And then we get to the body condition score five example, and essentially the 12th, 13th ribs, our last two ribs are no longer visible. We've got a thin layer of fat all over the body of that cow, and she's just kind of an average condition there. Doesn't have any excess condition building up around her tail head or in her brisket. Uh, she's just smooth all over. Now, this picture here of this cow is a fairly young female, and so her hook bones uh, and pin bones aren't going to be as prominent. As they have additional calves, they're always going to spread out a little bit, and they're going to be more prominent. So at first glance, those more mature cows may look thinner than they are, but you really have to imagine that, that there's a covering over those hook bones and pin bones. Just because they're sticking out doesn't mean that they're going to be skinny as long as they've got some fat covering on them. So be sure to notice the differentiation and differentiate those. Uh, the next picture we had is between a body condition score five and six, and you can see really her tail head is becoming real smooth there, a lot of fat behind her shoulders. Uh, here's a good cow that's in a body condition score six, uh, a lot of fat all over, but beginning to put some additional fat right in that brisket and more fat around that tail head as well. So again, most production scenarios and ranches, body condition score six is gonna be the upper end of the condition of those cows. Uh, here's a cow that's in a body condition score six to seven, a little more fat in her brisket, uh, a little more fat around her tail head. Again, this is gonna be the upper end of the scale. Here's a cow that's an eight, and this is actually an example of a cow that missed uh, a calf. Uh, the previous year. And so the reason she's got carrying all that condition, and you can see she's got fat covering all over, a lot of fat in her brisket, her tail head is really kind of getting in, uh, covered up by the fat, uh, and it's beginning to shelf off. And so this cow missed a calf, she had the same feed resources as the rest of the cows in the herd, but she didn't have the energy drain of the milk production and the calf in her, and so she gained a lot of weight. Uh, and so again, example of a really pretty fat cow. Most production conditions, if, they're, if they've had a calf the year before, they're probably not gonna get that fat unless you're just overfeeding those cows. And here's a body condition score nine. And again, we don't hardly see any cattle that, that get to a nine if they're in production and actually producing a calf year after year. This is a picture of a cow that uh, probably has never had a calf. And you can see the fat that's really shelving off of her tail head and down her top line. And when these cows get into a body condition score eight or nine, because of that excess fat, actually reproductive performance will decrease and those cows may not uh, breed back for you. And that's certainly the case when we get uh, our replacement heifers and trying to breed them for the first time. 
if we get them too fat, uh, we will see some challenges getting those, ca those cattle bred um, with that. So some things to think about there when we're talking about body condition score uh, with the cow. So let's kind of go through a little bit of a final exam and, and, and go through some different pictures to see some examples. Uh, <clears throat> and again, every producer is going to have a little bit of difference in feeling on, on what they may call a five or five and a half or a six. But at the end of the day, what my goal is uh, for you students is just to say, well, okay, well, is this cow, if she's calving tomorrow, is she in adequate condition so that whenever we get ready to breed her back in about 90 days that she will breed back. And so we've got two pictures, uh, the cow that's on the right there with the spots. Uh, if we look at her, she's probably gonna be somewhere in a body condition score of four. So if we were calving today, she'd be a little thin. Now the cow on the right is gonna be probably about a borderline five body condition score. Calving today, she's okay. Here's a spotted up beef master cross kind of a cow. Uh, got a lot of condition. If we look at her body condition score, she's certainly acceptable to calve today, but if you look at her, she's got a uh, little more than, than that body condition score five, and she's probably pushing a six to a seven body condition score. Uh, here's a cow, uh, and uh, I always tell the classes, if we imagine that that, that calf is not hers, uh, that she's going to calve tomorrow. It's obvious she's not, but if she was going to calve tomorrow, uh, would she be in good enough condition? And the answer is no, because she's probably in a body condition score of three. Now, if that's her calf <coughs> and we're weaning it off of her and she's got another 100, 120 days before she's going to calve again, uh, that body condition score three, that would be kind of the lower end of acceptable there as we've let her condition slip because she's produced that really big calf there. Well, here's a set of heifers. Um, you can see these heifers are all about a body condition score five to six uh, in that picture. Here's a set of heifers, and this was a producer in northeast Texas that I work with. And these heifers were about, oh, somewhere around 100 days uh, before they were going to calve out. And you can see the condition of those heifers. They're going to be looking at somewhere around a, a low five. And so we switched the management practice a little bit. We bumped the feed up a little bit to, to increase the condition of those score of those, cat, those heifers a little bit to get them closer to that body condition score six whenever they calved out uh, with that. So uh, here's a, a heifer that was in one of those sets of Brangus heifers we showed you earlier. As you can see, she's probably a body condition score seven. Now the rest of those heifers in that bunch were somewhere between a five and a six. If all of the heifers in that uh, picture looked like this body condition score seven in this heifer, that's way too fat. You're always going to have some cattle that maybe are a little leaner or thinner or some that are a little bit ex extra conditioned. Maybe she's just a, eats a lot uh, out of the group or she's just a little easier fleshing kind of a female. But if all of them look like that, that would probably be a little bit too much condition on her. So that gives you an idea on body condition score. Again, it's a very subjective uh, process, but again, all I want you to do is to be able to understand uh, what's acceptable at calving and what's not, and then have, be able to, if you go and evaluate your cows at weaning, have that understanding, okay, maybe those cows are at a body condition score three, and I've got a hundred days till the first calf hits the ground. Average forage condition, I may need to be supplementing with a few extra pounds of, of, uh, of a cube or some other supplement to really bump them up to get them to gain the weight that they need to get to that optimal body condition score of at least a five whenever they start calving out.